and now reverse the direction. Last one, soles of the feet together and allow the knees to open to the side. Just letting that hit the hips and the inner thighs open. And now bring the legs back in, right leg up, left leg up. Here's the tricky one. We're going to do a little egg beater or figure of eight. Right leg comes towards you, left leg goes down. Turn them out, go around the corner, back up through the center. Pelvis is still, the thigh bones are moving in the hip socket. We're breathing the neck and throat, jaw, shoulders all relaxed. And reversing that, parallel to turn out, a little tricky, good for your brain. Last time, and bottom of the feet together and let those hips open. And bring the legs back in. So if you have your squishy ball now, it would be the time to place it between your thighs. And if you don't, you can use your pillow. Taking an in-breath. And on the exhale, we're going to curl the tail and peel the spine up off the ground. Coming up, knees and thighs reaching out away from you. And then roll it back down. Nice articulation through your spine. And inhale, exhalation, curling up. Make sure the belly hollows into the pelvic bowl. You're narrowing those hip bones in the front and rolling back down. All toes are down. In breath, exhale, curl the tail, reaching the knees and thighs out away from you. And rolling back down. Nice articulating bridge. Add the arms here so we get the arms coming up above the head. And then rolling back down, bring the arms back down. In breath, exhale. And again, we're going to do three more like this. And then I will move my position because I seem to be on a creaky floorboard in my room here. <laughs> and rolling back down. And again, that's not my bones cracking, if you can hear it. <laughs> and last one. Good. All right, let's remove the ball now, or the pillow, place it to the side. I'm changing position, you don't have to. And from here now, we're going to bring the feet and the knees together, fingertips to the ceiling, making a little uh, steeple over your breastbone. Sway the knees to the right, fingertips point to the left, and you turn your head and look that direction, and bring it back into the center. And then to the other side. And back into the center, little spiral through the spine, keeping the bottom of the feet on the ground, Pressing the palms of the hands together and the other side and back into the center. And again, inhaling. Keep the arms straight if you can. You might not be able to go very far. And back into the center. And again, spiral back into the center. And again. And two more. And center, last time, and center. And let your feet come apart now. Bring the arms alongside your side body. And from here now, we're going to let the right leg and the left arm come up and back down. And then the left, right, and back down. And again. Moving so I hope you can see me. Mm -hmm. That's right. Keeping the breath flowing with the movements. So and this is opposition. It's like a, just a slow motion march. 
And now we're going to do the same arm as leg. Right leg, right arm, and down. Left leg, left arm, and down. Breathing in, exhale. Nice and soft in the shoulders. Feel the arm bone dropping into the shoulder socket there. And now we're going to go back to opposition with the right leg and the left arm. Extend the leg, take the arm above the head, bring it back into the center, and down. So it's a little four count. Up one, so this is the opposite side now. Extend two, back into the center, down. So one, extend two, center three, down four. Breathing in, one, extend and in and down breathing in one extend and in and down and again inhale exhale inhale and down and inhale exhale inhale and down last time and down good so now if you have your uh squishy ball you might want to put it underneath your pelvis we won't bother with the pillow for this so it can go like so now this is a little tricky if you have a ball and from here now we'll bring the right leg up whoops excuse me right leg and <laughs> extend i'm trying to do the mirror thing and down and left extend and bend and down and up extend and bend and down up, extend, and bend, and down, keeping the pelvis nice and level. That's the tricky thing. Pelvic floor, deep abdominals connecting. And now, hover your pelvis up off the ground, all the ball. I'm gonna move the ball so you can see the space there. And here we go with the right leg. Up, extend, and bend, and down. Pelvis is nice and level. Just got my fingers there to make sure my hip bones are staying nice and level. And left and up, bend and down. Two more. Last one now with your left leg. And bring the pelvis down. And let's sway the knees to the right and allow the left arm to extend over the left shoulder, looking towards it, keeping that breath flowing. Exhale through the center, knees fall to the other side, extend the right arm above your right shoulder, looking that direction, back into the center, knees go right, left arm extends, Back into the center, and again. And we'll keep going now, that direction, in order to come on up. Hope everybody's doing okay. I'm gonna come on to hands and knees now. So if you do need to protect your wrist, you could come into a fist like so. And let's do a little cat and cow here. So we're gonna begin with the pelvis. Knees are underneath the hip socket. And pelvis, lower back, middle back, upper back, neck, head. And then coming back down. Pelvis, lower back, middle back, upper back, neck, head. And again. So this is the cat and cow. Make sure you're lifting in those abdominals. And feel that nice rolling up of the collarbones. Not too much in the neck. Shin bones pressing down into the ground in order to get that nice core connection. Breathing with the movement. And last one here. Flexion of the spine here. And then extension. And then neutral. Balancing an imaginary bowl of water right on your pelvis here. And we'll take that right leg back. Oh, careful, you don't kick anything. Sorry, you can't see my foot crawling forward. There we go. And the opposition arm forward. 
keeping that pelvis nice and level. And back down. And then the other side. Flex that foot, feel that connection all the way up to your glute. And back down. And right leg, left arm, and coming down. And left leg, right arm, coming down. Other side. Make sure your leg doesn't get too high. And back down. And again. And down. Now a little different here. Taking that right leg back, flex the foot, float the leg up. And now bend the knee. So your foot is pointing, bottom of the foot pointing to the ceiling. And from here, press up to the ceiling, just a little bit. Up. The knee is bent, up, 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 up. Everybody see, up, glute work. And last time, bring it down. And now take the other leg back, flex the foot, float the leg up, bend the knee. So you see my thigh is parallel to the ground now, my knee's bent, up, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And we'll sit back now in a child's pose if your knees allow it, reaching those arms forward. In breath. And feel that breath into the lower back here. Exhaling. Coming up. So if you have a foam roller now, you can use it. You don't have to have a foam roller. We're going to be kneeling in this position, in a tripod position. Sorry, move back so you can see me. And if you're using your foam roller, it comes in front of you like so. If not, you can just slide your hands down the ground. So I'm going to demonstrate it twice, and then we'll all begin to do it together. Taking an in-breath. Exhale, rolling down through your spine. Hands come onto the roller, thumbs rotate down, tail feathers go up in the air. Extension. Then from the pelvis, tuck the tail and roll up through the spine. Hands leave there and we come all the way up. I'll demonstrate again, excuse me, with my clothing as <laughs> adjustment. Breath in and rolling down. Tail feathers up, thumbs down. And then tuck the tail and roll it back up. Hands leave the roller all the ground. Without the roller, in breath. And exhale, rolling down. Tail feathers up. And roll it back up. A lot of work in your core, all the way up underneath the ribs. And again, in breath. Exhalation, rolling down. And tuck the tail, roll it back up. And again, in breath. Exhale, rolling down. In breath. Exhale, rolling back up. Rolling through the spine, it's like a waterfall or a wave. Nice movement through the spine. And in breath. Exhale, this time we're going to stay down here and we'll place the right arm in the middle. Even if you're not on the roller, you can do this and thread the other arm underneath your armpit. It's a big spiral stretch. You might get an adjustment in your spine. In breath, exhale, unthread, change the other arm and then thread it underneath the armpit, spiral. In breath, exhale, unthread, and roll it back up. Good, if you were using your roller, you can put that away now. We're gonna come onto our tummy, and let's have one hand on top of the other hands. 
So we're coming down onto the ground. There. And let's have the feet together, knees together, forehead on your hands, taking an in breath as we float the head and the hands up and back down. And the top of the feet are on the ground, the kneecaps pulling up towards the hips. Inhale as we float up, exhale back down. Inhale, float up, exhale back down. Now you really want to feel that you're lifting your abdominals away from the mat. In breath, float up, exhale back down. My knees are not touching the ground. In breath, up. Exhale back down. In breath up. Exhale back down. And now, if you do have a little towel underneath your forehead, that would probably be a good idea. Extend the arms. So the arms are straight now. And from here, we'll take an inhale as we float the arms and legs up off the ground and back down. And again, inhale, float. Exhale, back down. Keep your nose pointing down to the ground. Inhale, float up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, float up. Exhale, back down. We're going to opposition now. So we're going to have the right arm float up and the left leg and back down. And then the left arm and the right leg. And back down. A little opposition. Back down and float. Don't bring the leg up too high. And back down. And again, float. And back down. And float. And back down. Last one. Good. So let's place one hand on top of the other. Put your forehead on your hands just so you can rest your head. And we'll bring the knees, excuse me, bend the knees, bring the feet up and rock the hips side to side just to release your sacrum here for a moment. And extend. Now we're going to come into the waterless method of swimming here, floating over the ground. And we have a light flutter of the arms and legs. Breathing in, exhale. I hope everybody's swimming well. And last time, and rest. And come on up. Good. Um, if, if, if you could all give me a thumbs up, if you can hear me clearly. Okay, thank you. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to come to our TheraBand. Either sitting or kneeling, whatever is comfortable for you, if you need to sit up on a pillow. If you don't have your TheraBand, now would be the time to use your soup cans or weights if you have them. I'm going to use my TheraBand coming across your back, underneath your armpits, like so. I'm holding the TheraBand in between my thumb and my fingers. So if kneeling is not the thing for you, feel some, sit in a comfortable position. This is just a little work for the arms, keeping those collarbones nice and wide and lifting in the abdominals all the way from your pubic bone up to the V in the ribs. First movement is a scooping action. And exhale. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I can, see, I can see three of you right now. And you all look like you're doing marvelous. Good. I'm going to scoop forward a little bit so that I have a bit more space. And last one with the scoop. Bend your elbows into your waist with your palms facing up. In breath as the arms come forward. Exhale as they open to the side. In breath as they come back. Exhale, elbows into your waist. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale in. 
and in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale in and in breath. Exhale, in breath and back in. Breathing in. <sighs> Jaws relaxed, no tension in your neck, hopefully. And pause here. Now turn the palms to face forward and then we'll hug our tree. You'll note that my fingers are coming in line with that little V in the ribs, right where that xiphoid process is, if you know your anatomy. And hugging your tree, shoulder blades down the back, neck long, and we're breathing. Excellent. And last one like this. Bring the elbows into the waist. You might, if you're using your TheraBands, you might need a little bit more resistance. And you can, if you're using your soup cans, make sure you don't drop them as you do this. And we're going to go into a spiral. And back in. And spiral. And back in. So it's a little punch. But I'm really holding my shoulder blade down my back as I do this. And then the other side, not letting the shoulder roll forward. Mm -hmm. Three. And two. And one. Good. And release that. And just do a nice, easy shoulder roll. Nice and smooth and loose and reverse. Good. Interlace the fingers, reach up. Sorry, you can't see my hands right now. <laughs> Palms are facing up to the ceiling. And then release, interlace the fingers behind your back and reach back and down. And release that. And we're going to come now to a sitting position. So if you have your TheraBand, you can use that around your feet. We're going to do a little rolling up and down. Do be careful um, if you have any disc injuries. Don't, we don't want to put oh, osteoporosis. You don't want to put a lot of weight on that. Uh, or you can hold your soup cans. It'll be a little bit more challenging with your soup cans in breath, exhaling as we begin to lead with the back of the pelvis and begin to roll down. You don't have to go all the way. In breath at the bottom, exhale, rolling back up. Nice length of the spine. And in breath, exhale, back of the pelvis leads the way. Abdominals hollowing into the pelvic bowl, especially on the way back up. Make sure you don't lose that. And in breath, exhale, rolling down. I've got feet flexed, knees a little bit bent, protecting my lower back. In breath, exhale, rolling down. In breath, exhale, peeling back up off the ground. And in breath. Exhale. Feel that right above the pubic bone, narrowing in, drawing that in. And back up and in breath. Exhale. Now pause here. And if you have your thoroughbred holding onto it, little bicep curl. If you don't, you have your soup cans. Little bicep curl. And two. And three and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Extend and come on up. Now, let's come to this position here. I'm gonna face you. I dream of Jeannie. 
So look, first of all, we're going to do some rotation. My knees are bent, right? I'm up on my sitting bones. I'm going to rotate to my right and draw back with that right elbow and the left arm opens wide. I'm looking back to the right and then back into the center. Now you can do this with your TheraBand. In breath, rotate to the other side, find that bow and arrow, back in the center. If you're using your TheraBand with this, you do it with a crossed band, back into the center, and rotate, and back into the center, and rotate, and back into the center, and rotate, and back into the center. Now we're going to add a roll down, rotate, roll down part of the way, change to the other side, come on up, and find the center. And rotate, roll down, change to the other side, come on up, find the center. Rotate, roll, change, back up and center, Rotate, try not to side bend with this. And up, last two, inhaling. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, up, last time. Change, and up. And if you're using your band, don't cross it. And uh, if you're not using soup cans or a band, that's fine. I'm going to just pull back one, two, three, pause. Turn your head, look to the right, look to the left, and to the center, and then slowly back with the arms. Pull back, two, three, and look to the left, and to the right, and to the center, and slowly back, pulling back, one, two, three, and look to the right, and to the left, and to the center, and back, really lengthen that spine. One, two, three. Look to the left and to the right and to the center and pull all the way back. Release that. All right, so let's come now to either your pillow or your squishy ball. So the ball will go in between your shoulder blades. We're going to lay back, or you can fold your little pillow and put that there. So just a little word of, of advice here. If it's too much on your neck, keeping your head up, then you just put the pillow and the ball to the side and lay all the way flat. We're going to do a whole series with our legs now. So I'm going to use my ball. Coming okay, right in between the shoulder blades. Interlace the fingers, make a little bowl for your skull. Taking an in breath. Exhale, float the head up a little bit here and we'll bring the legs up. And the first thing we're going to do is a scissor. So this is a lot of work for your lower and upper abs. Top foot flex, low foot pointed. And change, breathing in, exhale. And last three, and two, and one, and bring those knees to your chest, give them a little hug. And now interlace the fingers, supporting your head with your hand, bring the legs up. Turn the legs in, turn them out. Spinning the thigh bones in the hip socket, in and out, in and out. Straight legs if you can, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Breathing is important. It's very difficult to talk and breathe and do this at the same time. And knees to your chest. Coming up again, bring the legs up, turn the legs out, flex the feet, heel taps, quick, 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 quick. Some of you will be familiar with all this. Some of you may be not familiar with it. And knees into your chest. 
Interlace the fingers supporting your head with your hands. We're going to go into a slow motion bicycle, beginning with the right leg, extending, heel arch ball foot point. So there's an articulation through your foot. It's like you're painting that far wall away from you, licking with your foot, painting the wall, breathing in, exhale. Nice and slow. Don't drop your feet too low. And now back pedal. Point, toes, ball, the foot, arch, heel. A little trickier to go that way. Keep drawing in with the abdominals. And last three. And two. And one. And knees to your chest. Give them a big hug. Coming back here and interlacing your fingers again. All laying flat, remember no strain in the neck. Not about pain here. And turn the legs out, flex feet, right heel to left instep, left to right. Change and change and change, beat, 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 beat. Pretty small. Don't overcross the legs. Make sure that the legs are externally rotated. Last time, and knees to your chest. And we're going to do one more little thing in this series. Bring the legs out, flexed feet, turned out, right heel to left instep, left to right, open. Feet, feet, open. Feet, feet, open. Feet, open. And very good. Last three and two. And one, and a happy baby. Happy baby position, knees to the armpit, feet to the ceiling. And bring them in and come on up. Very good. All right, let's do a little uh, side stretch here. So we're going to be sitting with our feet to the right in a Z-sit position. Arms out to the side. And we're going to go up and over towards our feet. Towards the right. If you turn your palm up, you'll get more of a side stretch. Come on up, hand elbow to the mat. Up and over the other way, palm facing up. Keep reaching your hip, your sitting bone down into the ground. Try not to be pressed into your shoulder. Keep that space between the shoulder and the ear. Come on up, up and over the other way. And again, in breath. Exhale. In breath. And exhale. And inhaling, exhale, and in breath, long spine. Make sure that your rib cage is floating over your pelvis, and in breath, exhale. Now with this free arm, that right arm, we're going to paint the ceiling and paint the floor and open the chest and follow your fingers with your eyes. Paint the ceiling, paint the floor, paint the ceiling, paint the floor and bring it up. Place your left hand behind your pelvis and press up and stretch. Coming down. Fancy modern dance move to the other side, legs out, swing them around, and there we go. And arms out to the side, second side here, up and over towards your feet. In breath, exhale, come up and over the other way. 
and in breath. Exhale. Really feel that good length of the spine up to go over. And in breath. Exhale. And in breath. Exhale. Keep those sitting bones reaching into the ground. In breath. Exhale. Oh, I see a doggy in the picture. <laughs> and now circle, paint the ceiling. And paint the floor. And paint the ceiling. And paint the floor and paint the ceiling and paint the floor and paint the ceiling and paint the floor and bringing yourself up now this will be right hand behind the pelvis and we press up and back down we're going to come and lie on our right side now with the legs extended. If you need to, put a towel or pat out that underside of your hip if you've got a tender spot there. So I have my elbow bent, shoulder blade down the back, and I'm bringing the upper arm up. I'm going to start first with a little lift of the top leg, just small. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lifting in the waist, nine, ten. Now we bring that leg forward. Careful if you've got anything behind you that you might kick, and back, and forward, and back, and forward, and everything is quiet in the middle. Working in those obliques and the deep abdominals, forward and back with the leg, now turn the leg out and continue on. Forward and back and forward and back. Make sure you're not sinking into that shoulder, lifting out of it. And back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and we're breathing. And your neck is relaxed. And bring the leg forward, pointed foot, turned out, small circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So roll onto your back. And if you have your TheraBand or your strap, Take a hold of it and we'll place that band around the leg that you were just working. So that would be your left leg. From here, we're going to do a hamstring stretch. So if you have your bathrobe strap, that's fine. If you don't have anything, you can use your hands, bend your knee towards your chest, and then extend the heel up to the ceiling. And bend and extend. Shoulders and neck and jaw relax. Breathing, in breath. Exhale, extend. And in breath. Exhale, extend. And in breath. Exhale, extend. And in breath. Exhale, extend. Lightly point the foot. Bring the leg across the midline if you're allowed to do that. People with hip replacements, beware. Turn out, external rotation. Coming across the midline, windshield wiper. And turn out, go out to the side. And again, make it small if you need to, that's totally fine. The idea is the pelvis doesn't go with it. Pelvis stays nicely anchored. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to take this into a full leg circle. So coming across the midline, down a little bit, turn out and around. There's one. 
and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, reversing the direction, and one, and two, and three, and four, still breathing, and five, make it small, and six, and seven, and eight. Now we come into a figure four stretch, or piriformis stretch, so bend that right knee, bring it up, left leg comes across, you don't have to use your band, you just do this like so, and the right foot comes off the ground, flexing this foot gives you more of a stretch right here. And place that down. Good. And now our left leg slides down and the right leg comes up and we'll do our hamstring on our right side. And bend and extend. And bend and extend. Knee towards the chest, foot flat towards the ceiling if you can. And bend and extend. And bend and extend. Windshield wiper. Internal rotation across the midline. Turn out, external rotation. And again, internal to external. Breathing in. Exhale. And exhale. And again. We're going to take this into our leg circle. Internal rotation down and around to external. There's one. And two, keeping the pelvis nice and quiet. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight, reversing, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Coming into our piriformis stretch now. So that left leg comes up, right leg goes across the left, feeling that stretch through the glute here, the piriformis in that area. I hope everybody's doing well. Thumbs up if you're doing Thank you. <laughs> and we'll come on out of that now. Pull to your side and come on up. All right, so we're going to do a little series here with a plank. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me. There's a, options here where you can be on your forearms, like so, or you can be all the way up, like this. So if you've got wrist issues, I, sus I think it's probably best to be on your forearms. Those of you who wish to challenge yourself could use the foam roller. If you have it, forearms on the foam roller. And we take one leg back, other leg back, and come into your plank. 
or you can be like so. Shoulder blades down the back. Five, four, three, two, one, and press back to a child's pose. I apologize, that's my alarm telling me about how much time we have left. And coming forward again, and coming up into your plank. Keep breathing, head on line with the spine, lifting the abdominals in. Don't clench your bum too much and don't drop out into the lower back. And press back to a child's pose. Coming forward again. Here we are in our plank. And if you wish to challenge yourself, we let the right leg up and down, left leg up and down, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, right leg up. I can't speak and do this. And last two, last one, and press back to a child's pose. Coming now into an inverted V position. If you can't do this, you can go to the wall and have your hands on the wall and stretch your calves that way. Just an option. So here we're going to let our sitting bones go up to the ceiling and bring our chest towards our thighs if we're in the down dog position and then lower your heels. So calf stretch. I've been riding my bicycle and I realized, gosh, I have to stretch my calves a lot more. And heels up and heels down. And heels up. Abdominals are still drawing in, heels down. Now treading through the feet. Nice and easy, breathing in, exhale. Getting that stretch through the Achilles, through the calf, sits bones are up and back. Lifting the abdominals in. And now both heels down. And walk your hands to your feet or your feet to your hands, if you can. Soften your knees. We're going to roll up through your spine. I'm going to have to walk towards the computer so I can adjust it so you can all see me in the standing position. Do I have a head? <laughs> it's always fun. Oh look, there, I have a head, amazing. Can't really see my feet, but that's okay. And um, we're going to stick our tail feathers back. Bring your arms across. Shake your tail feathers. And then we're going to come up, bringing the arms up. Now I'm coming up onto my toes. I don't think you can quite see my feet, but I'm up on my half toe, balancing. And back down. Tail feathers back, in breath, exhale up, in breath, exhale up, and in breath, and exhale up, and in breath, and exhale up, and we're going to try and stay there for a moment. Balanced. Working on our balance. Now see if you can close your eyes for a moment. Very difficult. Woo! <laughs> and bring your arms down. Very good. I hope everybody had a good class with me today. Myself and see my fluffy hair. Give yourself a big hug. 
lots of love to everybody. Take care of yourselves. And I hope to see you next time. Thank well. you. Thank you, Jeannie. Wonderful, you. wonderful class. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for joining us. And thank again, you. You know, just, uh, we are uh, hoping to see you next time. Today we have a class at 6 o'clock, Foreign Strength. And then we have classes on Saturday, and also we have our Feldenkrais a workshop on Saturday at 1130. So hope to see you then. And if not, thank we'll you, see you next Thursday. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> thank you, Carol, Robin. Thank you for being here. Celeste. Thank you for having me. Bye, Bonnie. Bye. bye. <laughs> I can't see her there. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, Jenny. Bye. See you next time, honey. All right. Bye, bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>